What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Mac Office, Microsoft Word, the tricks and the tips. So without further ado, let's start the video. Okay, go to your launch pad, click on that Microsoft Word and then you'll see this pop up, your Word document gallery. Just go on, Word document for the time being. Take this full screen if you want. Take it out of full screen. Alright, the first thing you notice is you're given a page. If I go on layout, I can change the orientation to landscape. Go here and reduce the size to whatever is suitable for you. I can do this. So I have a bigger working space. I'm going to also go back, click that orientation to portrait. I can start typing things in if I wanted to. Hello, this is a Word document. Highlight all of that, go home, bold, italics, underline all of that. A shortcut is Command A, Command B, Command U, Command I, okay. Copy this a couple of times. Paste all of that. Copy this again. Hold on, delete all of this for one minute. Okay, now we have that. We can go to the layout. We can sort out the margins and say narrow. And there you go. We have more space to work on. Whereas if we if we were at just normal, that's what we get in comparison to narrow. I always tend to use narrow because then I can fit more words on a page. I can save the document. Command S. Save on the desktop for the time being. Probably make a folder and say Microsoft Word, or just Word. Make trial save. Any tags? Not really, but okay. Save that. Let's save now. If we go to the desktop, if I click Word, there you go. If I get out of that go back into here if I go to the internet Firefox whatever type in a photo or just the sky images of the sky save this view the image right click that save image sky.jpg we're using JPEG okay on the desktop Yep, it's on the desktop. Close that. Go back here. Get the photo. Just insert it like that. Double click that. Wrap text should be tight, so therefore I can move it around. Bring it in there. There you go. That's my photo. That's a paragraph of some garbage. Move this down, copy all of this, or cut it for the time being, put it there, insert a text box, move all this into there, there you go. Okay, so if I wanted to title. My first Word document, 
I can put it in the middle if I wanted to underline that increase that increase the font size I can do it from here if I wanted to that's how it looks like when you narrow it down narrow the size of the page okay so another thing we could do is probably insert a table if you wanted to go to tables draw the border and draw another line if you wanted to this is really good for making CVs yep and draw some more lines draw some more lines okay Okay, now go back into here, erase the parts you don't need, I can drag that, should be able to drag it, if I want to do that. Okay. So we have a table. I can click this, if I unclick that, click that now. And then you can go to borders and do none. And there you go you have a table with no lines so remember to always save we could have some word art this is like for the title your text here here's the profile okay if I just click this and go back into table tables border put all I see what's up Probably move this around. There you go. Okay, what else do we need? What else can we show you? You can have a chart if you want to. This just brings up Excel. I mean, if I close that down, okay. The idea will be to make this bit smaller there you go
now we can move it around if we want to. Okay, so remember, you need to make tables, columns, whatever in Excel and then you can import them onto your Word document. Okay, so remember to save this all the time. That's a document, I can have some more words if I want to. Have another text box. Let's go to Firefox and just steal some information. All this garbage. Okay, now we need to get rid of all those underlines. Highlight all of that. Get rid of all the bold text, underlining, change the color. Okay. There you go. We have made our first Word document on Mac Office Microsoft Word using photos, text, charts, tables, and Word art. If I do that. Okay, I could change the font if I want to to Tahoma or Arial or whatever, what suits you best. Get rid of that. We can export this as a PDF file if you want to. File. So if I do save as PDF on the desktop inside Word. So if I do save, that is now saved into a PDF file. So if I just minimize this, go into Word, and there you go, it's in PDF format. So I'm going to open this, double click it. There you go, we now have a PDF file of our Word document that we made 10 minutes ago. Okay. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for now.